Since I started this channel, my website traffic increased two times. So before we start, I want to thank my followers who are visiting my website and order detailing products through my affiliate links on Amazon. You are supporting this channel a lot. Thank you. Hello, beginner car detailer. It looks like you want to join Detailing World and start taking care of your car by yourself. Great choice. I remember myself when I was starting. Oh gosh, how much money I've wasted on useless detailing products. There are too many chemicals on detailing market, but you need them only for simple tasks as a first time detailer. I wish I had some simple guide when I was starting, so I made one for you. Hit the like button, make yourself comfortable, and let's start. Welcome to Hold My Beer Detailing. I don't know what made you think about detailing by yourself if it was an awful service at a car wash, or fast and furious VHS landed on your head when you were a kid. But as you decided to start detailing, you need to learn a golden rule of detailing products. Clean it, then protect it. It works nearly with every detailing job you do. Don't expect 10 in one products to give you the same results as separate products for cleaning and for protecting. It doesn't mean you need to have two products for each door and each body panel. Hopefully many universal products allow you to clean or protect multiple surfaces. If you need specific products with brands and names, find links to my recommendations in the description. In this video, we will concentrate more on what products you need as a beginner, what will be a perfect detailing arsenal for you, and when you should use it to build a perfect beginner's detailing arsenal. You should understand what surfaces you need to take care of. Many specific products will work best with specific materials or surfaces, or remove specific contaminants. I will skip such products as they will make this guide too complicated for a beginner's arsenal. Start collecting such products after you already built your main detailing arsenal, and will face some unusual contaminants that you cannot remove with help of your main arsenal. In this video, we will concentrate on the main must-have components to detail your car. So what are these components? First of all, let's start with the exterior. Here we have several surfaces and materials to work with. It's car paint, exterior plastic, wheels, and glass. To clean these surfaces, we need only two products, car shampoo and wheel cleaner. I already have a video about choosing the right car shampoo. You can find it following this hint and choose the right one for you. But to make it more universal, let's say pH balanced shampoo is a way to go for you. When picking up a wheel cleaner, consider if this cleaner is suitable for your wheel type, as some cleaners can be harmful for chrome or anodized wheels. Prefer using products that remove brake dust effectively, as it's the main cause of wheel surface destruction. I love wheel cleaners that have color indicators. It makes wheel detailing more calming and highlights where you removed a lot of dangerous contaminants. Don't deprive yourself of such a pleasure. Now we need to protect exterior surfaces. Unfortunately, two products will not be enough to protect all exterior surfaces. First, we need wax to protect the paint. It can be hard, liquid, or spray wax. Use any paint protection you like, as it doesn't matter what type of wax you choose, it will be 10 times better than no wax at all. It will protect your paint from harmful UV rays, environmental hazards like bird poo or hard water, and minor swirls which prevent car paint from fading, discoloration, and etching. Another car part we need to protect from the sun is exterior plastic. Such products have different names, but usually they are called exterior plastic protectors, trim detailers, or trim coatings. Any variation of this naming will be good, but be sure that you pick a product for exterior, not for interior plastic. Such detailing products will make faded plastic dark again and protect new trim from fading. It's an important but small thing that will keep your car's look fresh. Next is tire shine. Some trim detailers are suitable for tires as well, but tires work in much harder conditions than trim. So a separate product for tires is worth an investment. Tire Shine keeps the sidewalls of your tire looking amazing and at the same time protects them from UV light that harms rubber, makes it yellowish, and causes cracks on sidewalls. Crucial product, especially if you live in sunny weather regions. I need to mention that there is a product for cleaning tires and 
I skipped it on purpose. I don't think it's a necessary product for everyone. As usually spraying your tires with a high quality wheel cleaner and brushing them with a tire brush is enough. If your tires are old and brushing them with wheel cleaner does not make them clean, then in this case, you should add tire cleaner to your arsenal. The last product for exterior protection is optional. I'm talking about windshield coatings. I love these products and I use them all the time. But the reason they are optional is because some people may get distracted from driving and pay too much attention on how this product repels water. If you are one of such people, don't use these products as safety on roads should be our main priority. For all the rest, windshield coating will be an amazing product that will improve your driving experience. Driving in the rain with windshield coating can actually bring pleasure. Don't forget that if you will decide to apply it, cleaning the glass with car shampoo will not be enough. If you don't want your coating to slick off in two days, you should prepare your windshield for application. Every good windshield coating brand has as well windshield cleaning solution that will help you to remove all the contaminants from the glass, prepare the surface, and apply the coating as you should. You can find the best windshield coatings I tried by following the link in the description. Finally, we are moving on to interior detailing products. If you pay attention to your car interior, you will notice a bunch of different materials. Plastic, leather, vinyl, upholstery, and rubber. If you buy a cleaning product for each material, then your kids probably won't see any presents on Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. We cannot let this happen to our kids. Hopefully, to resolve this problem, detailing brands provide us with all-purpose cleaners. The short name is APC. With their help, we can properly clean nearly all materials, even the exterior, like engine bay unpainted plastic. But APC is especially handy when we talk about interior cleaning, as there are so many different materials we need to take care of. Take a suitable brush and start the cleaning process, wipe it off with clean microfiber, and the surface is clean. The only exception is if you have to work with some sensitive materials, like soft leather Alcantara or LCD screens. Here you should better look for specialized products. Don't forget that you have the inner side of car glass, and it requires your attention as well. You don't want any haze or streaks on your glass, as it's distracting and makes driving less safe. However, achieving a clear view can be problematic. To make car glass transparent, follow these two rules, use a lot of clean, high-quality microfiber towels, and use effective glass cleaners. So we should add one to our beginner's detailing arsenal too. Now when your interior surfaces are clean, it's time to protect them. And we will start with dashboard protecting coatings. I called them this way, but in fact, it's products to use on vinyl, plastic, and rubberized surfaces. So you can use them on your door panels and other suitable materials. The reason you should consider such protection is for your dashboard as it should be matte and have good UV protection. Some vinyl and plastic protectors can be glossy, and applying them on your dashboard will make driving in sunny weather similar to staring at welding, so prefer matte finishes. As well, dashboard is exposed to sun a lot, so to protect your dashboard from discoloration and cracks, pick dashboard coatings with UV protection. Next, we are going to protect car seats. If you have leather seats, you can find suitable APC and dashboard protection that you can use for cleaning and protecting leather. But if somehow you got a car with leather seats and you are not on a low budget, get yourself a proper set of leather cleaner and leather conditioner. It will work more gentle than APC and treat better than dash protection. But don't forget to pick leather conditioner with UV protection. For fabric seats, things are a bit more complicated as you cannot clean them properly with just a cleaner and microfiber. But the good news is that you can use APC to clean it. If you have a used car, your fabric seats are most probably dirty even if they don't look dirty. To clean them, you should use properly diluted APC and wet cleaning vacuum cleaner. Afterward, once your seats are dry, you can apply fabric protectors. They will let you keep cars upholstery cleaner for a longer time. So definitely consider using them, but only after deep cleaning. In the same way, you can clean fabric floor mats and carpet. So as you can see, all-Purpose Cleaner is a handy product in every detailing arsenal. If you are planning to use it a lot, consider purchasing one one-gallon bottle of concentrated APC to save some money. But always follow instructions to avoid damaging car surfaces. These are all the products you need for general interior car care. 
So now let's move to another important part of every detailer arsenal. After spending all your weekend making your car finally awesome, with the help of your new detailing arsenal, you will not have so much enthusiasm to repeat the same process the next weekend. But what should you do? During this week, your car will cover in dust, fingerprints, or even worse, pigeons can attack your car with bird poo. Obviously, repeating deep cleaning process and applying new protective layer every week because of some dust will be an overkill. This is the part where you need to add to your arsenal maintenance detailing products. Do you remember those 10-in-1 products I hated in the beginning? Actually, they will be a perfect fit for maintenance purposes. They have mediocre cleaning and protective properties that will serve us perfectly as we need to remove light contaminants without harming our protective layer. Moreover, we will even boost it. So, what products should we add? Basically, such products are called quick detailers, but they can be specific to your needs. So let's take a look at our exterior setup. What we can maintain here. The first one is wax coating. To maintain it, get yourself a quick detailer with wax in its compound. Many detailing brands have wax lineups with wax and wax quick detailers to them. With this product, you will be able to dry your car after car wash without leaving scratches and at the same time, boost your main wax coating. As well, use it when you notice some dirt in between car washes. For example, when you notice a bird poo on your car, you should immediately spray it with quick detailer and wipe it off with microfiber. For tire shine, there are no such maintenance products as tires getting dirty quickly, so they will require deep cleaning in any case. What about windshield coating? You can find glass cleaners with water repellent and compound so you will be able to clean your windshield and rejuvenate the coating. However, I never use such products, as usually windshield coatings are long-lasting if applied properly, and I don't want to take with me two bottles of glass cleaner all the time. So, this one is up to you. Now let's find maintenance products for the interior. First, we need to maintain dashboard and all vinyl, plastic, and rubber surfaces. The best option for this will be an interior quick detailer. It will work effectively with light contaminants and stains and will restore protective properties of your coating. Keep in mind that if you have matte dash coating, choose Matty Finish Interior Detailer as well. If we are talking about taking care of car fabrics, I wouldn't buy any products. For example, there are some foam sprayers with brushes that should help you to clean local stains or make light cleaning. But when I used them, it was just a waste of money. In terms of removing local stains, it's useless if you spill, let's say, you know, coffee on your seats. Uh, you better clean it with wet vacuum cleaner and APC, otherwise such stains will remain forever. However, with leather seats, you have a great product to use. And surprise, surprise, it's a leather quick detailer. You don't need to clean your leather with brush and then reapply conditioner every week. Just spray leather quick detailer and wipe it off with microfiber so your seats will be clean and protected. Now you are ready for detailing maintenance. So let's summarize our perfect detailing arsenal for beginners. You will need a car shampoo, wheel cleaner, car wax, trim detailer, tire shine, and windshield coating. Also, don't forget about all-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner for leather seats, leather cleaner, conditioner and detailer, dashboard protectant, fabric protectant, as well maintenance products, quick detailer for exterior and interior detailer, this arsenal might cost a decent amount of money, but it will serve you for a long time and will help you to make professional level car care. Also, don't forget that many detailing companies sell detailing arsenals for car wash or interior detailing. If you have no tools or products yet, such arsenals will be great money savers for you. As well, considering that you will spend a decent amount of money on your detailing arsenal, remember to store it properly as detailing products can spoil. You don't need all your detailing products to be with you all the time, so don't keep them in your trunk. As in summer, it will be too hot for them and too cold in winter. They may lose all their properties. So keep your detailing arsenal in a cool and dark place. You should take with you only glass cleaner, quick detailer, and interior detailer, as you may need some quick maintenance while you are driving at any time. And usually it happens unexpectedly. You can sit in your car and, and wait for your wife to finish shopping and suddenly on the second hour of waiting, you will notice that your dashboard is not perfectly clean. 
What would you do without an interior detailer in such situation? So always keep some maintenance products and several towels in your trunk. Okay, my detailing friends, it seems like your first detailing arsenal is ready. And now you can be sure that you are ready for your first detailing challenges. Hope this video will save you a lot of nerves and money, and you will enjoy your next detailing session on the next level. Thanks for watching and have a lovely detailing, folks.